All right, back with another album review. Uh, last time I talked about Statues in Motion in order to celebrate 100 album reviews. Today I'm going to talk about Billy Knight's new band called Astro Dot. I'm not sure exactly when they were formed, but I know they've been around for a few years. Billy is the band's lead singer in addition to playing the piano and keyboards. The band also consists of guitarist Tommy Bazianis, uh, backing vocalist Zinya Tunes, bassist George Matt, and drummer Chris Tamanitis. Uh, now, they originated from Athens and have released one album so far. That just happens to be their self-titled debut album. Not sure when or not sure when or, or where this album was recorded. I know that it was released on December 7th, uh, 2019 under FM Records. Not sure exactly who produced this album. I think it may have been self-produced. If anyone knows who, who produced it, let me know in the comments. However, I do know that the mixing, engineering, and programming were handled by George Lazarow. FM Records actually uploaded the album to their YouTube channel, and that's how I was able to experience this album. And there's going to be a link to the, to the album in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. You can also get this album from iTunes, Amazon, or Google Play. Now, just listening to this album, it, it sounds like it's mostly in the realms of both New Wave and Glam Rock, but it also sounds like there are some elements of Psychedelic Rock as well. Now, let's talk about the songs. This album starts with Misty Morning. Now, the song happens to be the, the shortest song on the album with a runtime of 2 minutes and 55 seconds. There's also a music video that was made, and there's going to be a link to it in the description. It's a good song, and it starts the album off very well. But we're only getting started. Up next is Drug Smuggler. And the song in particular happens to be the longest, uh, the longest one on this album with a runtime of seven, uh, 7 minutes and 5 seconds. It also has a more psychedelic song to it and fits within the album's overall tone. There's also a music video that was made and there's going to be a link in the description. Follow that up with Never Trust a Dying Man. I really like the sound of this song. And Tommy Bazianis uh, performs uh, some really awesome guitar riffs throughout. It's also my favorite song on the album. That's followed up by Feeling. It's another really good song. It also has a more atmospheric feel to it, and I like that. The next song is Altar of Love. Now, Tommy's guitar riffs sound uh, heavier with this song. And I personally think this is a really good song overall. Up next is Come On Baby. Now, I don't have a whole lot to say about this song, other than that I think that's alright. It's also the second shortest song on the album with a runtime of 3 minutes and 21 seconds. You follow it up with Who Will. The song is much more upbeat than the previous song, and I personally think it's a much better song. So much so that it's actually one of my favorite songs from this album. The sound of the keyboard is, is very prominent this time around. There's also a music video that was made, in the, and I'm going to post a link to it in the description. So up by J.D. Days. The song starts with a guitar riff from Tommy. And he plays that same riff throughout. Overall, it's another great song. Up next is Ages. The song is more downbeat. And I like the tone of it. Now, there was a music video made for it. And it's going to be a link in the description. Next song is Satellite of Love. The song sounds much more atmospheric, and I consider it to be one of the best songs on the album. We follow that up with Astrodot Groove. The song is a little shorter than Satellite of Love, and sounds more upbeat in comparison. One more thing is I need to mention that the song is fully instrumental. At the same time, it fits within the album's overall tone. Right, the sun rises after that. This is another, another song that sounds very atmospheric. Don't, don't believe me, then listen to it for yourself. I also consider this to be another one of my favorite songs from this album. So up by Drifting Apart, which is the second longest song on the album, with the runtime of 6 minutes and 19 seconds. This album ends with Sarajevo. 
And I think this is the perfect song to end the album with. It's another song that's fully instrumental. I'm not sure exactly how well this album did commercially since Astro Dot is a pretty recent band. And their debut album is pretty obscure. I also couldn't find any of uh, that many critic reviews. But I have seen some people online praising this album. Overall, I really enjoyed this album. Now, some of the songs are space related, but that's to be expected from a band who call themselves Astro Dot. I also feel it is one of the most underrated albums of 2019. Hell, it's even more underrated than uh, in South of Reality from the Claypool Lennon Delirium, which is another really good album. Anyways, I highly recommend Astro Dot and suggest giving their album a listen. The unfortunate thing is that the album isn't available on vinyl or CD as far as I know. Thankfully, FM Records uploaded it to the YouTube channel, so the news isn't all bad. In the description, I'm also going to include a link to Astro Dot's Facebook page so you can follow them there if you'd like. Now is the part where I question you. Have you listened to Astro Dot's self-titled debut album? If so, what are your thoughts on it? What's your favorite song from it? Have you heard of Astro Dot prior to, prior to watching this video? Are you looking forward to hearing new material from them in the future? Now let me know in the comments. If you like the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. And if you want... Yep, thanks for watching, and I have something special planned for my next review.